Hello everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. Thank you so much for joining us again for another video. Today, I'm showing my wife Too Fast, Too Furious for the very first time. We watched the Fast and the Furious last time, and I gotta say, I, I had a really great time watching it. It's really not a bad movie. From what I s gathered from the comments of the first video, is that these first few are pretty grounded, and then like, I guess at five, they start getting more outlandish. Uh, so I'm really excited to get into this one. I, I remember a couple of things. I feel like I remember this one more than the first one. How are you feeling going into Too Fast, Too Furious? I'm excited. I thought the first one was a lot of fun too. It was kind of short and sweet. You know, there was a couple lines that were, I, I think, funnier to me and Holden. <laughs> um, but you know, I thought all in all, it was not a bad movie. I could see it being kind of a, a fun summer movie, seeing with your friends or whatnot. I'm curious about the second one because, you know, while I like the first one, the ending felt a little unfinished. So I'm hoping that they kind of wrap some of those storylines up, like what happened with him and uh, Mia. I don't know. So um, I wanna know, I wanna know what happens with the story. The biggest question I have is, now that Dom knows that he's a cop, where does that leave them? So um, I'm really anxious to find out the answers to that, but I think this one's gonna be a lot of fun. We had a few comments telling us that there's a prelude to this movie that explains the gap, I guess, between the first one and why Brian ends up where he ends up. So we are going to watch that, but it's gonna, we're just gonna put it on Patreon just to watch the prelude. So if you wanna see that, check out Patreon. Apparently it was this like six, six and a half minute short that they put on the DVD of the sequel. So we will check that out. Uh, but before we get into the main video, we can't forget the comment of the day. Also, we didn't offend as many people as we thought. Even like the diehard car people in the comments were like, it's all good. We know this is a fun movie. I actually really was worried about that. Today's comment of the day comes from Modality, who says, as you stated, you're both not car people, but keep in mind that the main focus of all the Fast and Furious movies was some sort of heist. Cars were just an add-on bonus because of how popular and huge street racing was in the early 2000s. I used to think the movies were always racing focused, but it never really was. That actually is a good point. I, maybe that's why I really enjoyed the first one, because it really wasn't street racing. It was really more about the heist. And I kind of like heist movies. Heist movies have kind of been clowned on after that episode of Rick and Morty, but uh, I do enjoy a good heist flick or a good heist sequence. So if they, if they keep that up, I don't mind the race car stuff. That's probably why I did enjoy it. Thank you so much for that comment of the day modality. I appreciate that. If you want your comment featured in a comment of the day, leave us a comment down below. We'll check those out. For now, let's go ahead and get into it. Too fast, too furious. Again, just watch the uh, prelude leading into this movie where we realize that Paul Walker's character, Brian, apparently leaves the police force and is now on the run. I'm very disappointed in him, okay? He, he put in all those years of college, got a, you know, a career going in law enforcement and then left it. He's not even a part of Dom's family. <laughs> He's on the run. I can already tell I'm just not, I don't fit into this because I'm like, you left a job? I know, yeah. <laughs> How could you be so irresponsible? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guys. Somebody literally commented that I was too old for this. At least they're uh, responsibly closing off the roads to the public. I mean, I, yeah. <laughs> don't want any accidents. Where'd they get those signs, though? I don't you can't know. just get those anywhere. They probably stole them. <laughs> is that ludicrous? It is, yeah. So I'm assuming all these movies made, like, a ridiculous a amount of money, money if they kept just making them. A lot of money. I'm wondering how many of those people are, like, car enthusiasts. The people that went to go see these movies. Oh. Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> oh, this is, this is the guy from uh, Benchwarmers. Why don't I just find y'all a fourth and we settle this on the streets, huh? Anybody I want, no matter who it is. Yeah. You want to race tonight? Yeah, you know I could use the money. You got four minutes, man. He's like living on a boat. Now, if he's on the run from the law, you might want to turn off those LED lights. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that stands out. <laughs> so he is like established a name for himself. Uh, it looks like it. They got deep pockets. <laughs> Might be able to get you a shirt with the logo on it. 35 large, huh? Either that or you can go home, bro. When you gonna pop my clutch, huh? As soon as you get the right set of tools. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Suki. 
Eva, Eva Mendes. Mendes. Oh, I have a girl crush on her though. She She's was so pretty. Really she was in some movies around this time. <laughs> From the perspective of the audience, they're just watching the cars like leave, you know? Right. They're not like saying anything else. Uh oh. Bend over, boy. Yeah, Suki. Could <laughs> <laughs> he let the audience know that? <laughs> Nas. Good for Suki. Uh, so, ruin everyone's cars. Yeah, I'm not sure the 35 large is gonna cover all the damages. Ooh, double NOS. Oh my gosh. Oh. Go speed racer. Go speed racer. Oh. Yeah, that's gotta just destroy everything. Oh. Yeah, uh, probably the smartest guy, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. See, she already knows she's losing. Why would you even bother jumping that bridge and destroying your car? Does second place get anything? Nah. Nas. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. Play with. Well, I'll have to fix my car first, Luda. Thanks for not letting me know about the bridge. Hey, uh, make sure you bring that body by the garage later. I right? work on that front end of yours. <laughs> Luda. That worked? All right, ludicrous. Up. Oh. You got some serious charges, Brian. You really Ooh. gotta go. They didn't have the scanners this time? Different group. Maybe they don't do that. Oh. Oh my oh. goodness. Henry what? Morgan? What? They're, what kind of weapon is that? They're recruiting tools from freaking Batman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Henry. I said Henry. Harry Morgan. It's also in the Warriors. Come out and play. Oh, Brian. Oh, no. Is that his former boss? How you doing, O'Connor? <sighs> now he owns the biggest import export business in the state. You see, on Don't tell me they're going to recruit him again. Yeah, bring him back in. We've been surveilling him for I guess. Years, but we've never been That would never happen. Well, you think she's flipped? She's one of mine. Oh, is that Eva so Mendes? Right. You're gonna roll with Agent Dunn here. And if I don't, uh, here's a list of the laws. <laughs> 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 he had that thing ready to go. Make this all go away in the interest of justice. I mean, why wouldn't you, Brian? Dunn and I are supposed to be street racers? That's right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tell me right quick, what would be better motor for my Skyline? A Gallo 12 or a Gallo 24? <clears throat> 24. I didn't know pizza places made motors. I mean, seriously, if this is what you're going to give me, I may as well take my chances in Chino. No way, man. <laughs> I like those chairs. Me too. I was thinking the same thing. Dude, I grew up with in Barstow, Roman Pierce. So is Vin Diesel not in this? Uh, I don't remember. Oh. oh my gosh. Is he wearing an anklet monitor? Yeah. Tyrese Gibson. Yep. All right. Roman <laughs> Pierce. Putting together a team. Only my homeboys call me Rome, pig. Oh. Not a cop anymore, bro. That's true. That's true. No badge. Still illegal to assault someone. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Oh. <laughs> 
Come on, y'all. Gotta cover that crotch, Brian. Get that thing wide open. I need you to come to Miami and drive with me. They'll take off that anklet and they'll clear your entire record. I did three years in jail. I told you. Shut up, punk. Huh? <laughs> I wouldn't need a fresh start if it wasn't for you. You've been using that since the day you got busted. Now let's just chill out and go do this. Barone's looking for drivers. I've arranged for both of you to join up. I've also hired some thugs, you know, to make it legit. Don't even think about taking the convertible. Why she got to ride with you? You get the convertible. Let's go. <laughs> You might want to keep your eyes on the road, Playboy. You got that from me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where'd you get them cars at the bottom of a cereal box? Real funny, Fonzie. <laughs> Ass, chew <your> hands, bro. <laughs> My red Ferrari was confiscated yesterday and it sits in an impound lot. Car isn't important. What is important is the package I left in the glove box. First team back here with the package will have an opportunity to work for me. Come on, cuz. I've got him heading south on I-95. Yeah, I got it. Come on, stick with me, Rome. What you got? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna get killed, man. Oh. Oh my goodness. I'm sure those guys are dead, guys. Yeah. Get <laughs> <laughs> man. Almost missed his exit. <laughs> Cha -ching. Now put your blouse back on. <laughs> Don't need to like move. Why are you slowing down now? Yeah. Don't let him get away. Not a problem. The hell? No, no! Oh my gosh. You got something to eat up in there? We hungry. <laughs> I'm not checking her out. Yes, you were. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Mia isn't in this movie. I guess not. I could eat a peach for hours. We did all that for a damn cigar. You did that for a job. Do you really think that I would let somebody impound my car? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I have something I want you to carry from North Beach to the Keys, and I'll personally hand you 100 Gs at the finish line. The pockets ain't nervous. Hey, hey, <laughs> Don't ever touch me. Hey, you! I'll take my cutter back. Figured you had like 12 or 13 Just get out of here. And right. you, I'll take my cutter back. Come on, man, come on. Jesus. No, your boy can help you put that fire. Look at the bubble on that. And they got us wired with GPS. That's why Markham knew we were going to be at that impound lot. Hey, why it's so hot that whoever's tracking these things will know every time you don't wear your seatbelt. Yeah, I can't believe he fired at those cops, though. I know. Alien <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kiss my ass, puto. Go, go. Who the fuck you think you can shoot at me? I'm a goddamn... Yeah, for yeah, real. Yeah, why are they so surprised? They're like, oh, yeah. Well. Don't tell me to shut up, Brian. Brian, I love the way he says his name. <laughs> you punks were running. Running? That's great. You don't want to see uh, me. All right, we got to get this under control. <laughs> this is just a mess. Barone told us that he himself would be waiting at the drop. You think she's compromised? You should know. Gave his mark, his car keys, and let him disappear. So what do you think, expert? Hmm. Let your man go, huh? I said forget about it, cuz. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, bruh. <coughs> Fonzie and Fabio. Glad you can join us. There's no way we're gonna beat these guys straight up. The only thing I could think of is save the spray for the way back, the return trip. The losers will hand over them keys. 
<laughs> Good for you, Luda and Suki. Up to Brian. How's that dust taste? <laughs> it's pretty far behind. Yeah. Kid, let's see if you got the ball. Come on. Oh. oh, nice. He was the cop in uh, Batman Begins. He was also in Sons of Anarchy. You enjoying yourself, Detective? Yeah, I was. Uh-oh. The whole force is gonna be on your ass in a minute. Shut your mouth. Right! Oh. Oh! The bucket gets hot enough, Detective. The rat is gonna want out. The only direction it can go is south. <gasps> your average rat can chew through a steel drain pipe. That's when it goes quiet. <laughs> but it goes to work. Damn it! I want a 15 minute window where everybody, and I mean everybody, disappears. You hear me? Oh, jeez. Uh. What? <laughs> Give me your window. You betray me, and my rat here is gonna visit your wife, your son Clay, and your daughter Lexi. Do you hear me? Uh. Oh, jeez. It's a pretty intense scene. Boys, enjoy the show. 15 minutes. Don't play games with me. That was a damn rat, man. <laughs> <laughs> Touch another man again, and I'll kill you. This guy's gonna be on Dateline. You just like that crazy ass trailer rat from back in the day, Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> man, you went out with her after all. <laughs> Brian, they're gonna kill you. I heard him telling Enrique and Roberto. Why are you wet? You sure you heard him right? She swim there? I'm sure. Barone's boys is us. Oh, I see what they're looking for. Find what you were looking for? They're gonna kill you. You guys gotta pull out. Barone, pay I never pull out. Hold in, Thomas what? Hardman. What? Oh. Of the race. Okay. He's got too much pride for that. Okay. Got the hamburger meat all hanging out. <laughs> the hamburger meat. Come on, no more. Wait, I think Stay right here with us, buddy. Stay your ass off my own boy's butt. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Roberto and Enrique are gonna be riding along with you. Nice shirt, Billkins. It's my day off. <laughs> <laughs> Driving into an ambush was never part of the deal. I'm calling this off. Like hell you are. Glad they squashed their beef. Hey man, how quickly can you organize? Do you have any half empty bottles of nitrous laying around? Sure, but our cars may get a little crowded, you know? When you got busted, if there's anything I could have done, you know, I would have done it. Is that why you let that dude go in LA? Yeah, I think that had a lot to do with it. I got Verone's navigator leaving. <laughs> Super inconspicuous. <laughs> ready to go. Thanks, Mark. Come on. 
I got activity at Verone's trailer property. Do not move. Vamos. Load up. Move on the trailer property. Uh. Right now. Move. Oi. <laughs> They're catching up, man. Shut up, man. Oh no, these Batman things. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> so a lot of cop cars. Yeah. The birds in place. Thanks, bro. <laughs> They've got nowhere to go. What was that? All right, let the party begin. Let's go. We have the suspects surrounded. Jesus! Ugh! Hey. Uh. <laughs> God! Oh my Jeez. goodness! It's a scramble, baby! I'll oh, make one! <laughs> <laughs> I know my tags are out of date, but... What the hell? <laughs> That's some driving for your ass, baby! Ain't that some... I like how they're, like, getting along with him now. I know. Yeah, Brian. You really do owe me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Those little pricks are running! It's your call. We're gonna take him down. Man, this car can do all kind of things, man. Wanna see? What you doing, man? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Stay on your toes, Pluto! It's not Verona Fuentes. What do you mean, not Verona Fuentes? There's no airstrip at Tarkin Point. It changed the place. We're meeting him at the Tarkin Point exit, not the airstrip. The feds are in the wrong place. This guy's shirt. Let him out. Get up. Pump the truck. Oh, yeah, yeah, Keith. Where's the rest of it? The other car. Where's the other car? On its way. So you know nothing about the agents that stole my jet? Uh, oh. Uh. I only told one person about the airstrip. Uh. Huh. Custom agents sure are getting pretty. Aren't they? Oi. Get on the boat. Jeez. Hide the cars and get rid of him. Back in the car. End of the road. You know, I like you. But I still gotta kill you. It's my job. <laughs> okay. All right. What's that? Oh no. Looks that his little thing didn't work. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna kill her. <laughs> Put her downstairs. I thought you was dead, man. Yeah, me too. They should save my ass, bro. <laughs> you're not gonna do what I think you're gonna do. You got my back, bro? Yeah. All right, man. Oh, I'm trying to trick you, man. <laughs> what? Them old Duke boys. 
I might have just killed her there on accident. Yeah. Look how far from the land they are. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what the plan was. Get the gun. Uh-oh. He dresses so sleazy. <laughs> So, there were three bags total, huh? The three from the boat. The wreck is clean. You held up your end. Your records are clean. I mean, it'd probably take some time to process that. <laughs> so maybe there were six bags. Don't drop the soap, big homie. <laughs> when he gets out, he's gonna kill your ass. <laughs> he ain't getting out. You think he gonna get out? <laughs> so Dan out on the road for you. Try to bring it back in one piece. Mm. Mia who? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I actually like Mia better, to be honest. Open the garage together. How we gonna do that, bruh? Pockets ain't empty, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't hungry no more either, bruh. <laughs> All right, just finished Too Fast, Too Furious. Jen, what did you think about this movie? 100% liked the first one better. I was really disappointed that Vin Diesel and the rest of the crew was not in the second one. I felt like it something was just missing. Although I did like Tyrese Gibson in this film. I thought he was pretty funny. Ludacris, I liked him too. Eva Mendes, I think, was underutilized. The first one seemed a little more intense than this one. This one was a little more like lighthearted, like, hey, I'm not a cop anymore. Let's play around. Let's race some cars. It seemed more like jokey jokey. I'm confused to why Vin Diesel is not, and Michelle Rodriguez, why they're not in this film. I also think that the race scenes were not as good as the first one. There was something special about those race scenes. They were okay in this one, I just didn't have that same like energy, I guess, as the first one. Also, I thought Fast and the Furious films were about family. It's coming. What the heck is going on? I'm more just confused where this one came from because it seems kind of like, really out of left field. Really disappointed that Brian has gone from like having a law enforcement career to a career criminal. <laughs> Did like that the sergeant or his boss made an appearance. I was not expecting that. Loved him. Bilkins, I think his name was. I, I hope he is in every single one because he's fantastic. The villain, he was really greasy. Like from how he dressed to how he talked. Paul Walker, I like him as an actor, I really do. But for whatever reason, in this one, there were some lines that just did not come across well. Whenever he says cuz, it just does not work at all. I love Paul Walker, but um, he was a little off in this film. All in all, it was okay, but I liked the first one so much better. I'm hoping that they bring back Vin Diesel, Michelle Rodriguez. I really liked them. I liked the dynamic with Brian. I was a little disappointed that they weren't in this one. What would you rate this one? I would probably rate this one a, probably a 6.5. I agree with you. I remember watching the sequel a little while back and when Vin Diesel wasn't in it along with some of the other cast, I was kind of disappointed because when I think Fast and Furious, I think of them. So I had no idea that these first, like, well, this movie didn't have them in it. Uh, Eva Mendes is fine. Uh, she was like in, you, you're, you're absolutely right. She was kind of underutilized. They were like kind of getting together, her and Paul Walker, but they sort of weren't. It's kind of a flirtation ship kind of thing. I definitely like Mia better. I agree that the first one I think was the better movie. I, I feel like they did more racing stuff in this one, but um, I think it was just utilized better in the first. You're right, I do like Tyrese Gibson. I think that his relationship with Paul Walker is really, really fitting in this movie. I think it works. Their history is uh, is interesting. I, I feel like it's weird that Tyrese Gibson's character blames Paul Walker's uh, Brian so, so much when he's like, I literally had nothing to do with it. I even tried like getting him out. And he like, just, just because he's a cop, he like hates him to that degree. What I think would have been better is if Brian had to make like a call or something. It was like a lose-lose situation for him and ended up betraying Tyrese, Tyrese's character, you know, to, just to make it so that he's more personally responsible other than I wasn't even there, I didn't know what was going on, I'm just a cop, you know. The main bad guy was like a kind of cartoony villain with the shirt hanging out and smoking his cigars and yeah, the, I owned the lot, I just, uh, you were applying for a job, you know. For me, I'm kind of there with you as far as the rating goes. This one is probably about a 6.5. 
for me. And we still have three, I forget what it's called, and then we'll, we'll continue on through these. We will be interlacing a couple other movies too, um, so hopefully we can uh, do those as well. But for now, that is it. Let us know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. It helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe so you'll be notified when we post the next video. And check out Patreon. You can watch the prelude to this movie starring Paul Walker. You can watch a full-length reaction to this movie, get early access to select videos, a lot of other great stuff there too. But for now, that is it. Jed and I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care.